Hmm. Well, what's going on, Cardinal Nation? Well, another great win tonight. 5-2 to two win tonight over the Tampa Bay Rays in the second of three. So we're guaranteed a series win against Tampa Bay. And, uh, yeah, a very solid pitch performance from the newcomer pitcher Eric Fetty. His second start as a Cardinal. First start as a Cardinal at Bush Stadium. And he would go five innings, gave up just a run on only four hits, struck out six. So a very strong start from Fetty after a pretty rough first outing against the Cubs last week. So, and mentioning he's had a solid year with the White Sox. So speaking of the White Sox, they got their first win in almost a month last night. They had a 21-game losing streak, and it finally ended for them winning at the Oakland A's last night. Uh, so that ended a record-tying 21-game win, or 21-game losing streak. And, yeah, so that's too bad for them. So anyway, we were taking early one nothing lead in the bottom of the first. Wills Contreras, RBI single, scoring Mason win. Uh, Could have gotten more. Uh, as no Arnado would reach for an error by the uh, right fielder Josh Lowe, uh, but Lars Newbar would then strike out. Uh, and then the top of the second, a leadoff double by Josh Lowe, and then we would see the return of former Cardinal outfielder Dylan Carlson just a week after being traded to. Tampa Bay from the Cardinals uh, made his return and would have a walk in his first at bat back in St. Louis and then uh, Fetty would get the next three. So and then the top of the third, the Rays would tie it up 1-1. Brandon Lau, an RBI ground out, that would tie it up 1-1. But not for long as no one are not one two-run double to score Alec Burleson and Wilson Contreras to put us up 3-1. Uh, the Ravens would have another fielding error, uh, this time by the center fielder, Jose Siri. Uh, and at the bottom of the fourth, Alec Burleson, a two-run double to put us up 5-1, to one, scoring Mason Wynn and Nolan Gorman. And, yes, yeah, so that put us up 5-1. Then in the sixth inning, Ryan Fernandez uh, pitching will give up two hits including two to ex-Cardinal Carlson. Then he would walk Jose Siri to load the bases and a sacrifice fly by Jose Caballero to make it 5-2. to two. And the Razor train runners on second and third to keep it a 5-2 game. A 1-2-3 seventh inning from Jojo Romero. And then uh, Andrew Kittredge, Kittredge would get two outs in the eighth. And then... Uh, Ryan Helsley, despite allowing a hit and a walk, would strike out the next two to give us the win 5-2 for Helsley, his 36th save, second straight game with the save. So, a big win. Uh, two RBIs by Arnato. He now has 50 and two RBIs for Burleson. He now has 66 on the year. Victor Scott the second after hitting his first home run last night. We'll go 0 for 4. He's batting under 100. So, um, but yeah, so Fetty, very solid. And the bullpen, again, did a very solid job. So, now look to go for the sweep Thursday night. Again, the start is uh, Kyle Gibson against right-hander Shane Boss for Tampa Bay. Uh, who's only made a few starts this year coming back from an injury. So, also, Steven Matz, who has not pitched since, like, May, uh, pitched in a triple-A and allowed one run in two and two-thirds innings on 50 pitches. So, uh, he's getting close to returning. Don't know if he'll be a starter or reliever, but that's good to see. So, till Thursday, be great if we could sweep 
this Rays team for a tough test against Kansas City. So till Thursday, comics are saying go cards.